Well, happy Wednesday and happy new year. I am so excited to share that we are in the middle of a very special Living Well program. Um, we, thanks to being able to do more programs through online and through Zoom, we are in the middle of a Living Well program with a nonprofit in the Silicon Valley called Women SV. And this nonprofit helps women who are coming out of um, challenging and abusive relationships. And on Monday night, we were in the middle of our emotionally well week of our five week living well program. And I was a little bit concerned or nervous, I guess I could say, of one of the exercises that we do in the financial, or I'm sorry, in the emotionally well section of living well. And the exercise is about finding the gift in challenging circumstances. So the way that it works is we look at a challenging circumstance in our lives from our own perspective. So how it hurt us, how we suffered from it. Then we look at it through a lens of empathy and we do a, kind of like a forgiveness style of exercise and we recognize that um, first off we recognize that forgiveness and the specific empathy exercise does not let anyone off the hook for bad behavior. 100% does not let anyone off the hook for their bad behavior. What it does is it lets us off the hook for the negative emotions or the strain or the feelings of connection to a negative experience. So it lets us off the hook. It lets us free of feeling um, bound by a negative experience. And then we evaluate the experience from the lens of what was the gift in this experience. And I know that that sounds incredibly crazy, but if you look back on your life, and you notice that some experiences that you've had that were challenging, probably most experiences that you've had that are challenging, did something for you. You built some courage, some character. It led you to a friendship or a relationship that you wouldn't have had otherwise. It led you to find your passion, your career, um, made you stronger in some way. And so we do this exercise, but I was nervous because a lot of these women were in the middle of their battle. So I suggested that they consider doing this exercise, applying it to something smaller and then working their way up to doing it with, um, you know, the more challenging circumstances in their lives. Well, it was so powerful. They were incredibly ready for it. Um, and while they were filling out their worksheets, um, we decided to play the song called Praying by Kesha. And it was kind of serendipitous because the day before my husband, my dog and I <laughs> went up to Pinecrest to play in the snow. And on the way home, that song had come on the, or Spotify or whatever, Pandora, whatever we were playing, it, it came on. And I thought to myself, I have not heard this song in two years and it moved me and I realized, hey, tomorrow we're doing the Emotionally Well program in our Living Well program with our Women SV ladies. So what perfect song to play while they're doing their worksheets and to make it feel more empowering while we're doing this through Zoom and we can't be in person with one another. So I'm sharing this with you because Many of you that will, because I am going to be sharing this video on multiple areas, but I'm also going to be sharing this with you in our private group. And many of you in our private group are currently in the Living Well program with the Stanislaus County Office of Education. And so I hope that you'll watch this, especially um, while you're in your week two of the Emotionally Well of your Living Well journey and think about um, as you go through the exercise, think about what is the gift that you have found in your challenging, hard, just emotionally draining circumstances in your life, and how has that shaped you to become who you are today? And if you're in the middle of a storm, look for the gifts as you go through the challenges that you're in. I'm also excited to share 
that we are going to be launching our Train the Trainer program uh, in March. And we're also going to be doing our second Living Well in March with the San Joaquin Family Justice Center. So through the storm of COVID, we have been blessed to serve so many people that we wouldn't have otherwise been able to reach. We got Living Well online back in October 2019, obviously did not predict where we're at today. And we obviously have been able to serve people through Zoom, which makes logistics a lot easier um, to be able to reach people in Patterson, in Silicon Valley, and maybe soon in other states or even other countries. So it has been a challenge. It's been a struggle. But the gift really has been for us to be able to serve more people that we wouldn't have been able to serve otherwise. And so I hope that you find um, some hope, strength, and the gift in your challenging circumstances and see the blessing in disguise. So I hope that you all have a wonderful Wednesday and I will share more videos with you uh, in the future.